All right, hi guys. Um, hopefully you can see that I've got some stuff to share with you. I have went to, and I'm gonna move the camera for just a second. I have went to one of my favorite places and the bags tell no lie. So I'm gonna try and do this really quickly before my husband gets home and not that, please, this is not a trigger. I'm not like a wife that cannot buy something before my husband um, goes crazy. That's not the case, but I haven't been working and so I just, he's basically been paying most of the bills and while my, you know, I've sort of been shopping unnecessarily because this is definitely not stuff that is necessary. Um, but anyway, let me just go ahead and stop running my mouth. I went to Tuesday morning um, and bought some stuff over the last, I bought some stuff over the last like three and four weeks and then I actually just came by today and went to another location and got some more stuff. So I'm just going to stop rambling and get into it. This right here is, um, what is this, die cuts with a view. And I got this because it says it has stencils in it and I really didn't, I definitely don't need another paper pack, um, but I thought this was really cute, and I do not have any scissors, guys. I'm really, really sorry. Let me try and grab those really quick. Okay. I have a super, super fast. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up so we can sort of see what's in it here. Uh, okay. And do this side. Ooh, was not prepared. Okay, so this is die cuts with a view, and this is the paper pad, and it has um, just like some regular paper, and these are like cardstock thickness, so I like that. And it looks like it's two of each sheet. Yeah, it is. And these, there's nothing like really special about these at all. They're one-sided, um, so nothing special at all. Just flipping through that a little bit so y'all can sort of see, but like I said, nothing special. Um, I think that's, yeah, there's that one and then that green. So there's, these are what I call, so just like filler papers or something like that. But the thing that I was really excited about is that these stencils, so I was like, um, I went stencil crazy and I love doing sort of mixed media so I thought I could definitely use these. Their idea was to use it for uh, maybe like making tags on a gift or something like that and I'm going to try and show that also like yeah on the back you can use those stencils to make like gift tags and things of that sort. So I thought that was but I really just wanted the stencils and so that's what I actually <laughs> bought this book for. And then it's got like about um, seven or eight sheets of craft paper in here. And like cardboard paper, because it's not really craft paper, it's cardboard paper. Um, so I can use that for anything, but I thought that's really cute. I like those, um, that I can use these for anything. I'm going to have to see if I can cut them out, because trying to use this big sheet is not going to work for me. But I like it, and to me, it was worth paying... $5.99 for that. So hopefully y'all can see um, that is that number there. The number is 1871256. All right, so we got that done. And then I sort of started to see people showing these. Um, and I guess people are using them for like December dailies or something like that. And I didn't know what a December daily was but I guess it's just basically for you to journal about daily happenings and what happens every day in the month of December so I thought that was really cute and this also sort of can use I guess be used like for scratch um for scrapbooking so these have 12 um this is called everybody loves Christmas and hopefully you can see that right there um that also and the number for this is one eight two seven five four five it was 5.99 and these all are 12 double-sided um papers and they also have stickers and these are all seem like they that they're all from like echo park oh my gosh y'all i just realized i picked up the same like two of the same thing is that not crazy couldn't see that's what happens when you're shopping too much anyway so i think that this is really cute to me and i Looking at all those cute patterns. I didn't want everything to be always red and green and, you know, just so if this is something different. 
and that's really cute so I thought those little die cuts there are little stickers so yeah and I'll probably do a video showing these more in depth in another video but that's one there the second one that I bought two of this one is another one from Echo Park this one is called Seasons Greetings and this has got more like a like a old timey feeling to me at least at least I don't know if I'm in love with it yet but hmm, a little different this one um, also is like the 12 double sided 12 by 12 papers and the stickers the number for this is one eight two seven five five one and there's that one you can see on that okay and then the last one, which I think, this is sort of my favorite. This is called Very Merry Christmas, also from Echo Park. Same thing, 12, um, 12 by 12 papers and some stickers. And that's cute. Sort of like a little, they're like a little muted neutral tones. So that's cute. And then those stickers, which I think are so cute, on the back. And I'm not sure if I showed y'all the number for this one. It is 182-7549. Okay. And now I'm just going to start grabbing stuff that, um, the reason I actually went to Tuesday morning because I was looking for this. I have not gotten any of the um, Happy Planner memory planning books. And so this one, I saw someone show it on Instagram. And so I was like, okay, trying to find this everywhere. So I went to a store that I usually do not go to at all because it's sort of far out for me. But I went ahead and got this. Um, the number for this is 1879358. And I'm probably sure that there's tons of videos about the Happy Planner memory planning books and all their different sticker books. But this one is really cute to me. And then I got my daughter into planning. She's in her first year of college. So I'm not sure if this is going to go to her, if I'm going to keep it for myself. Is that a bad thing to say as a mom? But yeah, so that's cute. Um, okay. I'm just going to also grab some paper pads. Um, I said that I was going to make my own Christmas cards this year, which... I'm probably not going to do because I don't think I can do the December daily and making my own Christmas cards. And I got started really, really late. So they're probably not. If I do make some Christmas cards, it's just going to be certain people that are going to get them. And so they'll just be like a little tester thing. But anyway, with that being said, um, these are some pattern papers. This is the six by six paper pad. This is Ameri from American Crafts. And... Yeah, that's all I see. These all show the um, what they look like. So you can see that. I'm not going to open this one up yet. Um, and the number for this one is 18, I'm sorry, 1853398. And these are, are they double? Okay, so they're not double sided. They're just um, single sided. But just a regular 6x6 six six paper pad. And I thought those were cute. The, really, the only thing I wanted was the fa la la and the um, plaid paper right there. But, you know, you can't go wrong with paper pads. I got this also, which I need no more paper. Don't all paper crafters say that. But anyway, um, I got this because these can be used as in-between cards. Um, just to add some color. But I thought these are great because they're already folded. They're already scored. And I was like, for $2.99, that is awesome. So basically, you just need to add some embellishments and a, and a sentiment on there. And you've got a card. And just, you know, put it down and you're good to go. But those are just, you know, easy going for anything. Like all occasions, just throw them on there. And they, really easy, simple card. Um, that number is one eight zero. Four, five, two, one, two ninety nine for those, and there are eight, no, thirty six papers. So that I thought was an excellent, excellent deal. This right here, I saw this, and it was definitely not staying at the store. This is so cute. Um, so this is forty eight sheets of paper for six ninety nine. I love everything: the pajamas, the little snowman, the mittens, um, the gingerbread house. So I had to get this one. Had to, had to, had to get it because I did not think that it was going to be there if I left it there. So this is um, Pebbles, which is this? Is this American Crafts too? Though, um, 
I don't know who makes that, but anyway, so let me just do a little flip through for you of this. Oh gosh, y'all. I don't know how this is going to work because I am not, I am right-handed, but this is, I don't know if this is going to work, y'all. Okay. That gingham is cute. Poinsettias. Little peppermints. The gingerbread houses. The little confetti dots. Ooh. Sorry, y'all. Okay. That is too cute. I wish they were a little bigger because I would use them as die cuts and I would sort of like fussy cut around that, but I'm sure I'll find tons of other things. These are really cute. So I'm going to probably use some of these in my planner too um, and use those as little die cuts or something like that. They're just like little, I don't know, just add little pops of color into there. I think, yeah, okay. So it's just two of the same thing, but so that is, and the number for that is one eight five three three nine seven for six ninety nine. That's that. Uh, let's see. And like I told y'all, I still thought I was just gonna be like a card making fool this year. Don't know what happened. And then I just realized that I don't want to have a whole glitter background. Because, and I already have some glitter paper, but these are just, um, I think these are just regular A2 cards in the envelope with the glitter on the front. And I think it's, yeah, glitter all around. Let me just see if that's true. I may keep these. I'm not sure. Um, I didn't even really look at them. Uh, okay. So, yeah, they're just full glitter cards. Which is sort of nice. And it's it's got some texture. It's not really, really bad, but it's not smooth glitter. So you are going to feel the texture on that. But yeah, just regular A2 cards there. And you also get the envelopes. And so, yeah. So is it eight? So you get a set of eight. And it's sort of weird that it has a white envelope and it's glitter. But I don't know. I think that's just me. But the number for that is 1840834 for $249. Okay, got the same thing. These are A2 cards also, and this is just regular. I think these are, yeah, those are side folding cards, and so are these. So same thing. These are just craft paper. Um, these are actually um, 12 cards, though, and they also have the white envelope. So this is an even better deal for $1.99. And the number for this is 1840836. Okay. One bag down. Yay! Um, let's see, okay. This is some stuff that's sort of old that I got, um, so, not sure. We're just going to sort of whip through it, okay. Everyone knows that whenever you see these stickers, it's, it's usually a good deal. So, um, they had a clearance sale, um, the last couple of times that I went there, and so, Got this. This is just a, it's anything that I see like any like embossing folders or dies that have like that are on clearance. I sort of grab them because I know that I'll probably use them somewhere in the near future. But these are embossing folders. Really have no idea what the mustache set I'm going to use that for, but it's just cute. Um, and then it's got the celebrate, the happy birthday, and then the like, little lips and the mustache. So these were, I think it's yellow, orange, and purple or something. It goes 20 percent 40 percent and something like that but I think I got them off somewhere I but anyway it was on clearance so um I, at least 20 or 40 percent of the 399 so I thought that was really a good deal um so yeah and not sure if you're gonna find these but the number is one seven two six three eight seven okay this also was these are some spellbinder die um dies these were on clearance also so um gonna see how these work because i thought that cute to have some certain paper and make that little flower there but we'll see we'll try it out because i'm not sure how it's going to turn out for me but um this number is one seven three nine zero seven seven and so yeah that's sort of cute um found this this was also um just going to be added to some more stencils for my um, media, mixed media art. And so I think I ended up getting this for like, I don't know, like 
definitely less than a dollar. But um, yeah, it's just one little stencil here, and it is one seven one three six nine zero. And yeah, it's just a Dilutions um, little stencil. Okay, some other stencils I got. I was just sort of going mixed media crazy, but for ninety nine cents, and for me to get twelve stencils, that was awesome. So I definitely had to pick that up. And these are a little nicer. I can cut around them and use them how I want without having to use the big um, the big sheet there. But yeah, those are just some different little stencils there. That is that number is one eight two eight three zero two ninety nine cents. Awesome deal. These, anybody that has looked up anything on social media, they have seen that these Echo Parks um, clear stamps have been um, popping up. So definitely, I know people have saw some from sports, some for like baby girls, baby boys. I think there was another one for like um, cooking or something like that. But um, because <laughs> if I don't make the Christmas cards this year, they will definitely be, like, I will be set for next year. So I got these. These are, um, it says, it says Magical, Merry and Bright, Merry Christmas, Peace and Joy, and, of course, Season's Greetings. So that was a good deal for $4.99. Um, the number for this is 1853808. So that. I think that I got these probably about a good, maybe, last month. Yeah, so these are Tim Holtz. These are also some embossing folders, but this one says Merry Christmas in like a really fancy script there. And this also just has like some things that you would associate with Christmas there, like ribbon icicles, something that says about ornaments and Paramount wishing outfit or something like that. But yeah, these are just some cute um, embossing folders. And so I picked that up. And so the number for that is one eight zero. 3513 and I just really pick up anything that I can find on good um on a good price from Tim Holtz. I usually grab it because I love him. Finally was able to get all of his um his first set of oxides, Tim Holtz um oxide dyes. So, yeah. Okay. And then this is another 6x6 six six paper pad. This one actually is um this is from Pebble. So the big one that I showed you, this is like a smaller, um, same company. So, and I look, I like the Holly and I like that this one actually, okay, let me open this up, but I liked, okay, I liked that little, that little sheet right there. I thought that was really cute. And I like these because I have like a mini planner. So I thought I could just definitely put these in sort of like, um, laminate these and sort of stick them out and add some little, you know, add some little cuteness to my planner there. That's a very cute page. So, and yeah, it's almost sort of similar to, okay, y'all, I think I got the same paper pad, one in six by six and one in, um, one in, one in 12 by 12, because that's what we just saw. We saw some gingham that was in there. Didn't see that one. I don't know if you can see that. So, yeah, but I'm still keeping it. Still keeping this one. Oh, I don't think I told you the number for that. Okay, the number for this is 1853393. Y'all, okay. I'm going so fast. I apologize. I'm just really trying to get some stuff done. Okay. These are some dye inks that these are some colors that I've never seen before. And I thought that this, this green really got me. And this, like, it's almost like a bluish gray. But these were so cute for me. Um, so I had to get these. And if you've ever been, I mean, these are Ranger dye inks. They've been at Tuesday morning for years. So nothing special. Just some different colors that I've seen. And so this is like, um, this is called Ivy. It looks like a, a it's deeper. I don't know. It's, it's not a forest green. Um... Maybe like a mossy green, maybe that color. Okay, but there it is, and it is one eight two eight two four three. And these are always one ninety nine unless you happen to get them on clearance. And I've never even seen them on clearance. This one is rain cloud. I love the gray on this. So this is one eight two eight two four two. Okay. 